Hey guys, this is Amber with thelovegal.com and youtube.com backslash thelovegal. If this is your first time seeing my face, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get notified when I upload new content. I also put out tips on my community tab as well. So if you want to get notified on that, just hit the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. But anyway, before we get into my top five law of attraction tips for you, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored. If you guys want a free numerology report that finds your life path, your soul urge, and your destiny numbers, go ahead and click the first link in the description box below. Like I said, this is a free numerology report. Now, if you're not really familiar with what a numerology report is, it gives you insight on what you can expect in your life and what you are going through right now. So um, you click the link in the description box, it's gonna take you to a free video. But anyway, my top five law of attraction tips that I can give you like a lot of my videos are about uh, the law of attraction so if you give this video a thumbs up ask a question in the comments drop whatever you want to drop in the comments as long as it is appropriate go ahead and drop it in the comments my first tip is number one decide on what you want and stick to it if it's money decide on your amount for now and stick to it there's probably a, a few amounts that you want to come into your life but focus on the one that makes the most sense to you right now and focus on the one that you believe in your heart is achievable right now say you want a billion dollars is your subconscious going to believe that you could have a billion dollars right now because the thing about the law of attraction is ask believe and receive but if you're not believing that you could honestly get it that could be an issue in your manifestation more than likely will not come to you because your subconscious is telling you I don't think we can get that how is that even possible so stick with the amount you can start with small amounts uh, work on practicing manifesting it you can work on upping it as you get those amounts if it's a car decide on the make the model the color all of that stick to it the interior what size rims you won't visualize you having that but you have to decide really decide on what kind of car you want I'm just giving an example so I'm gonna give a quick example my little sister she made a vision board right and I I looked at her vision board you know I'm looking at it and it's all this like luxurious stuff like I mean penthouses and like who she wanted to meet and certain things and then I looked down in the corner I'm talking about she had mad luxurious stuff nothing wrong with that <laughs> dream big boo dream big so I'm looking down in the corner and she has a the Nissan emblem in the corner mind you she didn't have a car before and I was like Alana like you got all this like luxurious stuff on this board and then you got this Nissan's in here disclaimer ain't nothing wrong with a Nissan it's not but the stuff she had on the board the stuff she had on the board you would think like a like a, a G-Wagon is on there or like a Bentley is on there and it just threw me off that she had a Nissan and she was like well, I just needed a car cut out and I got it out of a magazine and I put it on there. Fast forward a few months, guess what she driving? <laughs> guess what she is driving? She is. She got her a 2018 leather seat, white, is nice, all the fits in. She got her Nissan. When I tell you the power of law of attraction, putting things out there in the universe, it made sense. A couple of other things that she wanted to manifest already came true. So set your intention on exactly what you want and stick to that. With me, I love cars. So it was a past video. They were like, what are you trying to manifest? And I was like, well, I really want a Porsche and I really want a Mercedes. And I've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Which one do I want to get first? I've been going back and forth on the colors. I've been going back and forth on the interior colors. I've been going back and forth on the make and the model and the year. And I'm still in my deciding mode. If you're wondering, I'm like, dang, how she got her bands or a Porsche? Look, I am still in the mode where I'm really trying to make a, a set decision on which one I want first so I can focus on that and then go from there. I'm still hopping back and forth on which one and all of that stuff. So any other thing I've manifested, but I'm still deciding on that part. My next tip, be sure to think about what you want from a positive mood, a positive space, a positive thinking. For example, I always use this example because a lot of us, we weren't born rich. <laughs> Holler if you hear me. A lot of, I I can't say I'm stressed out anymore because I'm really not stressed out when it comes to money anymore. Thank you universe for that. I am forever grateful for that because when I tell you, baby girl been through it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, they always think of it from a positive space when it comes to money or whatever you're trying to manifest. 
um, because the energy you put into that thought is going to determine if you will get it or not. For example, if you think of money and you think of it like, dang, I got all these bills, I don't have enough, blah, blah, the universe hurt. Oh, so you like not having enough. Oh, so you like feeling this way about money because that's what you're putting out. Always think of it as your glass half full. For example, I'm gonna be so bluntly honest with y'all. Like, it was a point in time in my life where <laughs> stressed up. Out because I did not have enough for me, but I changed my mindset. I remember waking up in the morning just cringing. Hopefully, my account was not in the negative. And instead of just like focusing on not having enough, logging to my bank account, I was like, this is true story. I remember one day standing in the kitchen, I was like, I'm grateful for the fact that my account is not in the negative. I am grateful for the 32 cents in my account right now. I'm being so completely honest with y'all. I just changed my mindset and from there, money started coming abundantly. You know what I'm saying? Because I was grateful for what I already had, even though exact amount, 32 cents. You have to switch your mindset and how you think about it. Number three, number three, understand that your manifestation cannot come if you are constantly thinking about it. I know that's a hard thing. How do you detach from something that you want so bad? I want you to think of whatever you want in the palm of your hand. Say I'm holding whatever it is that you want or I'm holding whatever it is that I want and I got a grip on it. Well, the universe can't come and take it out of my hands if I'm holding on tight to it like this. You have to let it go. So the universe will come take it and throw some sauce on it and make it better and then bring it to you. You know what I'm saying? And how do you detach when it comes to the law of attraction? What has worked for me when I find myself thinking about it too much, I go into thinking about something else. It could be things that make me happy, TV shows. When I'm not thinking about it at all, I mean, I'm so engulfed into whatever I'm thinking about or whatever I'm watching, it comes. So detach gets you some hobbies, a new uh, series that you can binge watch, Anything that's going to help you take your mind off of it, do that. Exercise, go to the gym, go run in something, something make you tired. Shoot, I manifest very well in my sleep. Then I'm not thinking about it. Number four, number four is keep your vibrations as high as possible at all times. I know it's easier said than done. Trust and believe I am a whole human being. I'm not somebody that's just on here just talking. I, I know it's easier said than done. However, the one thing that is pushing your manifestation to getting closer and closer and closer and closer to you like the universe is keep on pushing a little at a time to get as close as possible to you. The one thing is keeping your momentum going is your high vibrations and how happy you are and the amazing feeling that you're feeling. The thing that's gonna stop your manifestation from coming to you is a, a negative attitude, bad energy. I'm gonna give an example. Somebody called me the other day and they are just venting. They may see this video. They are just venting and venting and venting and venting and I'm looking at my phone like, my God, <laughs> you've been venting nonstop. <laughs> And then they were like, and oh my gosh, I've been hitting every single red light. <laughs> and all I could do is laugh because I was like, you know why? It just came out. I said, like, you know why you keep hitting all these red lights? I said, because I said, the universe is telling your ass to stop, stop. I said, do you notice when you're in a great mood, you not getting one red light, all of the lights is green, all of them. They started laughing. <laughs> she was like, see, this is why I call you. You always make it sense. Keep your, your vibrations as high as possible. Do what you need to do. Do what you have to do to keep yourself in a purely, genuinely positive mood. I'm going to give another example. So I was with my sister and we were going out to Houston. We got the kids and everything. We stopped at Whataburger for breakfast because it was early. The order got messed up. I asked for two potato, egg, and cheese taquitos. They're like little burritos. They, they buy them. If you're in Texas or you got a Whataburger around, that's the joint. My niece asked for a sausage one. So total it was three taquitos. It was supposed to be two potato, egg, and cheese and one sausage. They gave us two sausage and one potato. I opened it. I saw that it was sausage. I said, I said, all right, at least it's edible. It's hot. It's cool. And then my sister was like, you know, I just learned something from you. And I was like, what? She goes, basically how you reacted to something not going right. I said, girl, I said, I am not about to uh, mess up my vibrations over a taquito. I said, it is all good. You have to choose positivity. A, a lot of us are not choosing to be happy. But it's just certain things. You could choose happiness if you want to. I always choose happiness. Little things are not about to mess up my vibrations, especially some need and something I can actually eat. Number five, this is my last one. Number five is put a date on it. Put a date on it. 
what, when are you expecting your manifestations to come? When are you expecting it? Write it down, put a date on it, say it out loud, put a date on it. The law of expectation states that what you expect to happen will happen. And what you won't expect to happen, it won't happen. Put a date on when you expect. So those are my top five law of attraction tips. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a part two to this this video. I'm trying not to have the video so dang long for y'all. Like I said, if you want your free numerology report, go ahead and click the link in my description box. It's going to be the first link. Any other information that you may need from me is going to be linked below as well as well as my Instagram page. Um, but anyway, I'm Amber with the Love Gal.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel.